Welcome to the video. So in this video, we're going to be building a new application um, and we're going to be using Bolt. So we are right now on Bolt.new. But if you'll remember in previous video, we went through a fork of Bolt.new where a developer worked with a team of other developers and they made just an amazing um, local um, version of the Bolt.new and they, they added to it um, coal medlin medin coal medin and uh, a lot of other you know developers you can go through here and look at all of the uh the different users uh who have added you know different uh you know things to this this repo a lot of guys have worked on this and done a phenomenal job and so it, they did such a great job that it actually got the attention of StatBlitz. so stack blitz has partnered up somehow with this and they've actually moved the repo to statblitz's account and renamed it uh, bolt.diy so today we are going to be cloning this repo i'm going to go ahead i already have a folder ready so i'm just going to go um, get clone put that in there there we go and we let's see list okay so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to i want to open this with uh vs code so i'm just going to type in code and then the uh the name there and then i'm going to go down here to the readme file and let's actually go back and look at this so um so we see the the they have the you know the new bolt.diy logo um and but everything else is here um, the, this is the readme file here. So uh, since it's got this, you know, you can view it much easier with this markdown style of reading it. Um, and so let's see, what I want to do is find the uh, run application. Here we go, running the application. So one thing you'll need to do is npm install um, you know, globally uh, pnpm. So if uh, if you want to follow this way of, of running this application, you'll make sure make sure that you have pnpm installed, and then once that's installed, we can uh, go ahead and in, uh, run the application. So if we click this little icon there, we've copied it. So now I'm going to do Control and then tilde sign, and I'm going to just paste that command in there and press Enter. Now it's installing our packages. So if we go to the package.json, these are the packages that it is installing, or that's the scripts. Here's the uh, dependencies. So these are the packages uh, that it is installing. It's finished with that. So let's go over here and next we'll just copy this uh, PMP or yeah, PNPM run uh, dev. So which will be running looks like this right here. So let's just go ahead and run that command. And that should uh, open up the app. So we'll need to wait until the uh, URL appears, which it's here. So now I'm going to hold down my command button and click on that. OK. And we'll let that load up. Did a hard refresh. Loading up. OK, here we go. So next, we're going to need a, and you can you can do this. Um, what I'm about to do is add the, um, the key. So we need the key. Uh, we're going to be working with DeepSeek. And so we see that the, um, the in ENV file is, um, is not, well, we don't have it set up. So I'm just going to manually add it here. So let's go to access. API, I've got some money on there already. So I'm going to go to API keys. I'm going to create a new key. I'm just going to call this YouTube and I will be deleting this once this um, application is built, once I'm finished with this uh, video. So copied. So we got that copied. Let's go back over here and let's uh, just paste it right here. We'll just click check. Okay, so now we've got the uh, deep seek coder. I don't want to chat. I want to, the coder um, selected. 
and saying, how can I help you? So let's uh, just say, uh, please build a simple um, portfolio application. I'll just say website Sorry, for a freelance photographer with sample images and sample content. Okay, I think that's a good prompt. Now you can, of course, in, enhance the prompt here if you want to make this more elaborate and really work through this. You could click here and it would give you an example of how to, you know, to, to make the, um, uh, the, the, just to make a better prompt. And then you could go through and fine tune it to the way that you want to do it. Now they've really improved some things. So now you can export chats and import, you can import a chat if you're, if you're continuing from a, another computer or uh, from an older, you know, chat or whatever, and you want to bring that in, you can make sure you <laughs> export it. And then uh, you can also import folders. You can clone a GitHub repo. So they've really, you know, in all these different um, models that you can choose from, they've really done a tremendous work. So let's just go ahead and click the uh, send button. Okay, so it's going with five. So All right, so I'll help you create the simple portfolio website. So using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the site will include a hero section, a gallery, about section, and contact form. And so I have a feeling this is going to take some uh, back and forth. And DeepSeek is, you know, an open source uh, project, so you still have to pay for it to use the, uh, the, you know, the online model. Um, but let's see. All I see is a blank screen. All right. So the top part of the screen has a large link space. have to scroll down before you see any content. Okay, so it's fixing the header styling. Okay, let's see what it does here. That did not fix the issue. <laughs> It's interesting that it's 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 showing that there's some images, so it should have some uh, example type of images. OK. 
Okay, this is looking better. None of the images are showing. Oh, that looks good. All right, so I'm just going to copy this. And say, well, we'll say the back. Okay, Let's see that fixed the images on the page, but. The background image on the hero section is still not displaying. So this section right here is called a hero section in uh, web development. Let's fix the hero section background image. Key changes made. Okay, let's just go over here and do a refresh. Still not displaying. So use the direct unsplash. Let's see. All right. Look at that. It's even got. <laughs> that's nice. All right. That looks really good, guys. So at this point, you could either, if we go back to code, um, you can export this. So you could download the code. Um, you can sync files. I don't know what that is exactly. You can toggle terminal. And then you can also push this to GitHub. So I think this is a good stopping point. Um, but this is awesome. I mean, this using this deep sea coder, um, it seems to be, you know, this version three seems to be comparable to, um, you know, Anthropic's uh, Sonic um, or Sonnet. So Cloud, you know, Sonnet 3.5 Sonnet. Um, and so, but it's much cheaper, and especially with this discount going on right now, um, this might be a, a you know a, a promising you know solution to save some money and have such an incredible um, model to use. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.